symptoms of after, which takes work, takes courage, takes time. You don't go to a retreat in two weeks and solve all your problems. You can get a huge jump, but it's just, it doesn't work that way. You know, most of our indigenous elders say five years, five years of healing, of like concentrated focus on healing before you can really start then to study like uh, spirituality. And, um, and so giving yourself that time and the patience, again, because there's no destination. It's just a journey. You don't have to be someone, you know, again, you know, just see this often in our society. People go do one week in Peru. They go do like a two-week meditation course in Bali. And it's like, well, now I'm the teacher. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, that's the, the same pitfalls of the mind that um, you're trying to heal from. It's trying to be something that you're not because you think that's the only way you'll be accepted. And so, you know, where I am now is I know myself. I can wear a tuxedo and go to a fancy wedding with my family. I can wear the same board shorts for a week straight in the rainforest and not shave. I'm the same person. I can, you know dress up like a hipster and go to some event like this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I am who I am. I know who I am. I don't wear masks anymore. You will hear the same thing from me as if I was talking to Joe Biden right now. You know, if I was talking to my six-year-old, um, you know, little cousin, though I might, you know, use different language, the message is the same. And, um, and that is the symptom, you know? What they say is that when we take drugs, when we get really drunk, when we have random sex, when we experience trauma, our spirit fractures, mm. it splinters. Mm. And healing, this is why you can't do it in just two weeks. Healing is recovering all those splinters of our spirit and bringing them back into our body. Because once your spirit is aligned to your body, once it's back in your body, you know who you are. You become unmovable. You become very clear. And so, you know, I've, I've, I'm on like year 11 now. So I've done five years of healing. I've done five years of, of studying. This is the now, it's just now that I'm feeling comfortable to teach. You look at my Instagram I'm not like, you know, writing teachings like, uh, like I'm some sort of teacher because I didn't feel, I didn't feel to, you know, and I'd write maybe inspirational posts or share about experiences, but not from the place of teacher. It's only now that I'm feeling comfortable teaching because I have put actually in that time and I know now I can feel it. My spirit is fully in my body. I can stay up for three days straight and not be tired and work and give and give because my spirit is in my body. This is the symptom of someone, and it's not to say you're ever fully healed, but someone has brought their spirit back into their body. You are clear, you know? You're not, um, not to say perfect, you know? It's like uh, we're always making mistakes and learning from them, always. But um, when you have put in the time to bring your spirit back in your body, it's really easy to feel that joy that you saw me, you know, just on playing a drum really easy to feel gratitude for simple things. It's really easy um, to stay strong and courageous in the face of, um, of, of, of tyranny, you know, of, um, of uh, a trigger, you know? So these are the symptoms. And, um, you know, and it's like that. You're in right relations with your, all the people in your life. You know, you're in right relations with all the elements. You're in right relations with the spiritual world. You know, that's one thing that was also my thing. It's like if someone, if I had a problem with someone who was just like, you know, you know, it's just like, I would just like, you know, freeze them out. Think like, you know, for lack of a better term, well, that person's a douchebag, you know, talk, talk trash with my friends about this person, you know. Like, I don't need them. I got, a, I got enough friends. Who needs, you know, this guy doesn't like me. He's a jerk, you know? And um, 
you know, now, like, uh, I want to make efforts to be in right relations with all people. Even if sometimes if someone has a problem with me, that's a complete projection, you know, it's like, okay, well, let's take the time to be in right relations. For the full episode, go to noblewarrior.com.